on what our stories and songs are going to be about today. Maybe snowman, snowmen or winter. So let's start with our welcome song. Do you remember it? This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello for story time. This is the way we clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. This is the way we clap hello for story time. Did you bring your stompers? This is the way we stomp hello, stomp hello, stomp hello. This is the way we stomp hello for story time. And do you remember my favorite verse of this song? Wiggle and jiggle. But how about we use one of our friends to do the wiggling and jiggling? Do you remember who this is? Olaf. Ready? Uh, this is the way we wiggle and jiggle. Hello. Oh, wiggle and jiggle. Hello. Oh, wiggle and jiggle. Hello. This is the way we wiggle and jiggle. Hello. For story time. Yay! We are going to read our first story together today. If we have time, we'll do a second one, but I have a lot of fun activities on the floor for you today. So our first story is called One Dog Sleigh by Mary Casanova, and it was illustrated by Ard Hoyt, and we want to thank Ferrard, Strauss, and Giro for allowing us to share this story with you today. We may have already done One Dog Canoe together. Now we're going to go on a sleigh ride with our friends. I hitched up my pony to my little red sleigh. My dog wagged his tail. I want to play. You bet, I said. Just me and you in a one dog sleigh. So we have the little girl and the dog. And who's pulling the sleigh? The horse. My pony pranced off under branches frosted white. Squirrel chattered up above. I want to play. See the squirrel? Well, we're underway in a one dog sleigh, but with a leap and a spin, squirrel nestled in. So now we have the girl, the dog, and the squirrel. Harness bell sang as we skimmed along the trail. <gasps> Who's this? Ow! Ow! Who, who, who did? I want to play, mm, perhaps another day. It's a one squirrel, one dog sleigh. Do you think Al is going to go home? No? What is Al going to do? But on silent wings of gray, Al swooped in to stay. Now who all's in the sleigh? The girl, the dog, the owl, and the squirrel. Oh, look at this one. Runners of steel cut through cedars dark and deep. Lynx blinked from her sleep. I want to play. Hmm. Better not today. It's a one owl. One squirrel, one dog sleigh. What do you think? Is Al going home? Or is Lynx going home? No. But with massive pads and claws, Lynx landed on soft paws. Now Lynx is in the sleigh. We jing, jing, jingled along a winding ridge. Who's this? 
deer lifted his head. Hey, I want to play. What do you think? I don't think we have room. Sorry, can't delay. Are you ready? Who's in it? It's a one lynx, one owl, one squirrel, one dog sleigh. But with a clatter of hoofed feet, deer crashed on our seat. Look at the deer. Look at Squirrel. Squirrel says, ah! My pony pulled and pulled, straining in her harness. Bear snorted overhead. I want to play. What do you think? Do we have room for Bear? Ah, wait, no! You'll stop us in our tracks. It's a one deer, one lynx, keep going, one owl, one squirrel, one dog sleigh. But with a smack, crack, co whack, bear balanced on the back. Uh, I think we're full. What do you guys think? Wind howled and scowled and blew mighty drifts of snow. We jolted to a stop. Why is the horse having a hard time pulling the sleigh? Because it's too heavy. There's too many animals. Who's this? Mouse. Mouse scampered up. Um, excuse me. Hi. I want to play. I started to cry. Ooh, a blizzard's underway. And now we're stuck in a one mouse, a one bear, a one deer, a one lynx, a one owl, a one squirrel, a one dog sleigh. Why are they stuck? Too heavy, too many friends. Mouse stood tall on the dash. There's the mouse right there. Owl lead the way. Then we all climbed out in the snow straight away, and we pushed and we tugged on the little red sleigh till we made it to the top. We're at the very top of a big hill. What happens when you're at the very top? Uh-huh. <gasps> Ready? In a one pony, one mouse, one bear, one deer, one lynx, one owl, one squirrel, one dog sleigh. We flew the whole way. Ready? Swish! Till we hit a bump. Uh-oh. What happens when they hit a bump? Swish-a-bang! Thump! Then together we played as the stars twinkled bright until we waved goodbye on a crisp winter night. Who do you think gets to go home in the sleigh? Mm -hmm. The girl, the dog, the pony. The pony gets to pull it. We set off for home and a warm barn with hay just me and my pal in a one dog sleigh. Great job helping me read that story together. And look over here, what is on our board? Can you see? We have a sled. Let's see what else I have. A snowman, how many do you think I have? Five, here we go, one, two, 
three, four, and let's see if we can fit five. Five. Ready? Five little snowmen riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on a sled. All right, how many? One, two, three, four. Four little snowmen riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on a sled. How many? One, two, three. Three little snowmen riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on a sled. How many? Two. Two little snowmen riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on a sled. How many? One, one little snowman riding on a sled. He fell off and bumped his head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on a sled. Great job. Hey, do you want to make a snowman? Do you want to make a snowman? Do you want to make a snowman? All right. Ready? Here is our snowman. What color is my snowman? White. All right. Watch. Ready? I can make a snowman. A snowman, a snowman, I can make a snowman. My snowman will be <gasps> stripes, rainbow stripes. Are you ready for our next one? All right, here we go. I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman, I can make a snowman. My snowman will be what's that one can you see green what could you make a green snowman out of the grass grapes maybe a green apple all right let's do our next one i can make a snowman a snowman a snowman i can make a snowman my snowman will be polka dots. Like mini marshmallows or mini snowballs. All right, here's our next one. I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. I can make a snowman. My snowman will be, what's that one? It's hard to see on the screen. Purple. What could you use to make a purple snowman? You could use grapes. What else? Purple crayons. Maybe eggplant. All right. There's a couple more. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, maybe five more. I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. I can make a snowman. My snowman will be, what's that? Do you know what that pattern is where it goes up and down, up and down, up and down? A zigzag. Silly snowman. All right. I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. I can make a snowman. My snowman will be blue. What could you use to make a blue snowman? Oh, blue M&Ms, blueberries, 
blue ice cream, blue paint. Good job. All right, ready? I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. I can make a snowman. My snowman will be orange, yellow. You could use oranges. You could use the sun. It looks like macaroni and cheese color to me. So I would use macaroni and cheese. Ready? Last one. I can make a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. I can make a snowman. My snowman will be splatter paint. Great job singing along with me. Let's see what else we have. Oh, what's this? A little bunny, a hungry bunny. And what's this? A snowman. Hey, what kind of nose does a snowman have? A carrot. All right, are you ready? A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose that hungry little bunny looking for some lunch ate that snowman's nose with a nibble Nibble crunch. <gasps> Good job. Let's do it one more time. This time I need your help. We're going to go nibble, nibble, crunch. You have to do the crunch at school. Ready? Nibble, nibble, crunch. Okay. Here we go. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a... Bunny. And what do you suppose that hungry little bunny looking for some lunch ate that snowman's nose with a nibble, nibble, crunch? Did we get it? All right. I think we have time for one more story. We're going to read a hat for Minerva Louise. We want to thank Dutton Books, which is um, a division of Penguin Random House, for letting us share this story with you. So, this is Minerva Louise. All right, she's looking for a hat. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. Her friends didn't like them one bit. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Let me hear your um, chicken snores. <laughs> Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go exploring. Everything was so beautiful. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, who's this? The scarecrow. She said I could stay out and play. A scarf might help. Hey, how about this? Is that a scarf? No, not this one. It's way too big. Hey, how about these? For boots. Those aren't boots. And they're too big. Where do we put gloves? On our hands. Ah, yes, a hat. That's just what I need. Is this a hat? I don't think so. Not this one. It's a flower pot. Very good. Hey, let's try this one. Not this one either. It's too heavy. What is this? A boot. 
There must be a hat around here somewhere. Hmm. Anybody see some hats? Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had on a fluffy white hat. You see the trash can has a hat. The car has a hat. What are their hats made out of? Snow. Oh, your hat is wonderful. Where did you get it? Who's she talking to? The snowman. Oh, look! What's over here? A hat! It's perfect! Look at Minerva! But wait! What's this? <gasps> it's two hats! Are those hats? No, what are they? Mittens! Which those hats worked just fine for Minerva Louise. Look at silly Minerva Louise. She's got two hats. In the very end, she's curled up with the sheep. All right, are you ready for our last song? I have some snowballs on a gate. One, two, three, four, five. Five little snowballs on a winter's day. The first one said, wake up so we can play. The second one said, let's stomp on the ground. Let me hear your stomps. The third one said, no, let's roll around. The fourth one said, let's. Run and run and run. The fifth one said, Oh no, I'm afraid I feel the sun. All right, help me with your wind. Then whoosh went the wind and out came the sun. Are you ready? And the five little snowballs knew their fun 